arrive in the morning, yes. you hear birds chirping outside. Oh. But you're actually inside the terminal, and it's just a tank now. Of course. One idea that Scylla wants to experiment with is having a chef on board long-haul flights. I can help you in any way. Well, I'm interested in the blue cheese and broccoli tart. Can I just check they don't have any red peppers in or blue After working in airline catering for over 18 years, this is the first time that Chef Andy Bailey will actually witness passengers eating the meals that he's developed. What you, what you have is you have your um, three choices of vegetables and you have two choices of sauce to go with that. Andy has designed all the menus on the plane today, from first class to economy. But there's one thing that from now on he won't be serving. As from now on our new menus, we're actually not going to use any for it. It's probably seen its day. It's dinner time and the rush is on. But Andy's high standards must be met. I'll say I would present it to him. But will the passengers approve of the new menu? It's crunch time. Andy goes to get feedback from the passengers on his dishes, starting with club and first class. Very well. Did you enjoy your appetizer? It was lovely. So did you have? Very fresh. I had the salad. Do you need specific dishes you'd like to see in the future, maybe? Spice it up a little bit. Oh, really? It's difficult to say what could improve. It was excellent. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you very much. But what will the economy passengers think? I had the sausage in match. Did you enjoy that? That's lovely. And I had the chicken curries. Yeah, it was lovely, really nice. The fruit or something would have been nice. Lovely. But actually, it was a lovely meal. Lovely. Thank right. you very much. Right. It's very nice to go on board and actually see my food and the unit's food and the passengers tasting it and enjoying what they're actually tasting. So far, Scylla's new initiatives seem to be paying off. Gatwick are investing a billion pounds on a makeover of the airport. Centrepiece of the revamp is an extension of the North Terminal, which will showcase the latest airline check-in technology. Gatwick bosses have declared war on queues. One of the weapons they want airlines to use to bring down wait times is a fully automated check-in system. Norwegian Airlines are the first airline to boast the new technology. Head of Projects, John Briley, has conducted a review of their performance. We just had the results of a time and motion study we were doing on Norwegian, on the Norwegian experience, because what you can see is the people checking themselves in, then they go straight to the fast bag drop, and uh, they don't have to worry about going to the check-in desk. And the transaction time now is down to, on average, 42 seconds. 42 seconds. I mean, our target's 45, but in that, in that sample of information, 50% is probably about 23, 22 seconds. So it's a phenomenal success. And this is the way forward, I think, for the airport. It's high summer, and the trial opening of the new terminal for BA is a month away. Scylla is having a meeting with her senior exec team. She's anxious that her new home is not going to be ready. Customers want difference. Um, see, I looked just literally a few days ago, I did one of my looking through the little window yeah, to see how yeah. things are going, and it still looked like a building site. So, yes, yeah. And I was actually with Stuart at the time, and I said, yeah. I can't see this is going to be ready for handover in a week. I okay. can guarantee, I'll state my job on it, that you'll be impressed. Right, you're on. Alan's <laughs> <laughs> job's on, this one. Fantastic. So, so let me show you the new zone. Oh, Alan, that looks wow. wonderful. Gee, I can't believe the lights. It's absolutely amazing. And look at the space. Uh, it's very different to uh, the drawings. It's much better in real life. Yeah. I'm just blown away by this. Customers have just got to come and feel it, haven't they? Mm. Come and feel it and get involved. BA has used the Norwegian model for their new terminal. Scylla and her colleagues hope that soon check-in queues will be a thing of the past. Eventually, passengers will check themselves in. The machine will scan their passport, its camera will use face recognition software to confirm their identity, and it will print out baggage tags for the passenger to fix to their own bags. 
it's the first time such ambitious self-service check-in technology has been rolled out by a British company at a British airport. There's a lot riding on its success. Or if you haven't come with your boarding card, it's passport on here. Right. Or credit card. Oh, yeah. And that prints out your whole bag of tax, and there'll be a British Airways colleague to help you okay. get through the process much quicker. That's so cold, oh. it'll be a bit like... Good morning, Mr. Peaver. Can I help you here with uh, printing your baggage tag? Would you like a job? Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping I still have a job. <laughs> Not only will the new system cut queues, but it will also cut costs. Having one British Airways agent here looking after two baggage belts is unique in the UK. It's future, isn't it? Future yeah. here today. The top brass are excited with the new terminal. But what about the people who have to work there? It does. It looks lovely. The check-in staff are being taken on an introductory tour, hosted by team leader Yvonne Jenkins. So I'm going to hand you over to Gemma now. Right, so this is the new kiosk. Um, there's 30 of these throughout, all the way to the far end here, for us to use. Um, I think it's hoped that in 2012, um, passengers can print their own tags at home and then come to the airport and drop their bags straight at the um, bag drops. There'll be no need for us at all. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie and Shirley are not convinced that passengers are ready for this level of automation. Their combined 30 years of experience tells them that this isn't going to be as simple as their bosses think. So they're going to pull them all out, merrily pulling them all out, and they're going to get four bags, they're going to label them up. They're not going to match, are they? Can you imagine a family of so 12? You've got a family of 10 or something, and they've all got to be. Or matched up. Got and what if they put their own tags on? But then we have to take them That's off. That's crazy. Isn't it? That is mental. So, okay, so we're going to move down a little bit further now, and we're just going to have a look at how these. Um, why do you have two why belts? Do you have two belts? I'll show you. <laughs> what two different? You can only different do sense of... one thing at once, can't you? All right. So the idea is then with this, go from side to side. Right. Oh. Yeah, but I don't, why do you do? Well, why, why do you need both to, sides? You can only do one at a time, can't you? So why two? It's, that doesn't make sense either. But there is one very important thing that the designers have overlooked. Not a chair on site. Everybody has thrown up the same concerns that there are a lack of chairs around. Why is the idea of not having no seat? There's flexibility. I don't understand. Even if the problem is cost cutting, you can't sit while you're doing this because of the distance. Okay, fine. I understand that. But if they want us to sort of give this lovely service to our customer, they have to look after us. Yeah. When you wear shoes like this, you really do need to sit down. After eight and a half hours, on heels like that, it's not going to work. And I won't wear flat shoes. <laughs> no way. They said you could wear ballet pumps. I won't be doing it, so I'll suffer. We'll see. <laughs> no, we'll stick with these. It's 5am, and it's the test run opening of the new BA terminal. Memories are still fresh of the last time innovative technology was introduced at a new terminal. Cancelled flights, baggage delays, and a temporary suspension in check-in blighted the opening day of Heathrow's Terminal 5 in 2008. What would your message to British Airways tonight be then? <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Never again. technology and there's no bins. <laughs> no chairs, no bins. No. So they're not taking any chances today. The new system is being tested on one flight only and if all goes well Alan hopes they can move all flights into the terminal in a month's time. Whichever they, whichever they choose, the first customer will be coming through this entrance here very shortly, hopefully, to Edinburgh, our first flight that we are operating uh, normally from our new check-in zone here. Whoever they are will be getting a pair of complimentary tickets to anywhere on our European network. Um, they won't be expecting that, of course. Well, we're just going to basically check in the Edinburgh flight um, and give it all a go and see if it's all working in working order. Giving them excellent customer service, I believe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like some flowers. I think we need the flowers here. Well, 
first British Airways customer to the New Zealand. Lady called Lisa. Lisa? Yes, that's Lisa. it. Yeah. So, um, ladies will look after you over here. Great. Touch the screen. Booking reference Do you have a credit card that you paid for the booking with? You're doing really well so far. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yep, yeah, put it in. Alan and Jackie are ready. My first passenger. But the machine fluffs its lines. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Anybody give me anything to take on board the aircraft? Okay. What have I done wrong? Did it not say uh, it's not printed? No. Nope. Oh, hang on. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thank you very much for being British Airways' first customer through our new check-in zone here. There's a little prize in here for two flights to anywhere you'd like to go to in Europe. Excellent. Um, and uh, have you. a pleasant journey with British Airways and hope to see you here many times in the future. Excellent, thank okay. you very much. Great. <laughs> when do you want us to collect our free tickets? <laughs> <laughs> What did you say it was? <laughs> the Maldives? <laughs> okay, how many bags are you checking in? One. And the printer decides to stop working altogether. My bag tag is broken. So Jackie gets Shirley to print out a baggage ticket for her. <laughs> it's a good start. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Supervisor Yvonne comes to fix the printer. I've broken it already. <laughs> this is not a happy bunny, is it? This one, look. No. I'm just trying to work out why that this is twisting so much. Hello, sir. Where are you travelling to? Edinburgh. Okay. But will it work? Yeah, there we go. It's not quite the fully automated future that the bosses had imagined. But after a nervy start, things are picking up speed. Did you manage the new machine okay? Was it? Yeah, really straightforward. Good. Thank you. So what do you think of the new terminal? It feels like VIP treatment this morning. Good. <laughs> oh, well, <you're> <laughs> it's very nice. Yeah. It's very like nice. Area? Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I had no idea you were doing it. It kept under wraps. So I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty much word perfect this morning. It's gone really well. Really, really, really lovely. I think at last people are going to take notice again. I think it's going to be really positive for passengers. I think it's going to be, I don't know, the whole atmosphere has changed and I think it looks like British Airways is in the up again. After three years and 83 million pounds, BA have finally got their new home at the North Terminal. But this is just the start. Now the pressure is on to fill it with new routes, happy customers and to try to regain their former position as the airline king of Gatwick. They put these in for us. <laughs> I must thank somebody. <laughs>